Hello everyone and welcome back to a, another video on the channel. Um, not really too sure as to what to say. Yes, congratulations, the Algerian national team are safely through to the playoff round, to the third round of the Qatar World Cup qualification stages. It's a job done as far as Belmadi and the team are concerned. Yes, we are 33 games on the spin unbeaten without losing. However, goodness me, that was a poor performance. You've got to say, with the supporters inside the stadium, a big atmosphere, it was not a great performance from Algeria. I'm not too annoyed because we got what we wanted. You know, we only drew the game. We're celebrating a draw at home, but it was enough. It takes us to 14 points. We failed to beat Burkina Faso home or away. Yes, we are in the playoff round, but there's certainly a lot of questions to be answered. Um, yeah, I mean, it was raining, the pitch was wet, slippery conditions, people running all over the place. However, that's not an excuse. It was like that for both teams. Um, the team lineup: Bryson Bolhi in goal, uh, Beniada preferred at right back to Halle Mia, uh, Ben Lamry, Mandy, and Ben Sabani. And then it was a 4 4 2 with Benassa and Zaruki, and that was actually helping Bikina Faso with Slimani and Bunajar up front together, with Maras on the right and Bilali on the left. Um, we needed that extra body in midfield. Bunajar has been poor for a while. I don't know what's happening with Bunajar. He was subbed off at half time for Faguli. We needed that extra body in midfield. First half, Algeria take the lead. Brilliant work from Bellaly, he was fantastic. Bonajas scoffs to finish. Mares is there. And it probably should have been a similar situation for a second goal. Mares in a great area. He should have taken the shot. Instead, he tried to square it to Bonajah. Bonajah fluffed his lines. Another awful game from Bonajah. And uh, and then Burkina Faso countered and scored and, and made it one all. And then Burkina Faso's goalkeeper had a shot, tipped over the bar. That's how dodgy the conditions were. Half time comes, the change we kind of knew it was going to happen because so many people could see this change was needed in that Bunajat off for Guli on another body in midfield. Um, Burkina Faso completely dominating the second half and then we get the goal against our run of play. Sofian for Guli who had come on at half time, he's been in the goal so much recently, still showing his quality and his talent. A crucial goal that's basically saved us. If we lost the game he would have been out. But Lely once again made the goal Funnily enough, made the goal and then got substituted off. Um, ben Rahma came on, didn't really see anything from Ben Rahma again in this game. I think the fans did push the team a little bit. I think the fans very much supported the team. They were there for a long time from the morning. It was cold, it was wet, it was windy, but um, they supported the team very well. Uh, Burkina Faso, well, I knew of the refereeing situation that Burkina Faso to get a penalty was very likely. They got the penalty, it was Ben Lamry's clumsy challenge, 2-2. Very nervy final 10 minutes. Bonamardi goes five at the back. Banasarov, but today and on. Five at the back. Uh, just to see it out. The last 10 minutes wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. It was, we controlled the last 10 minutes well. We uh, made stoppages and breaks in play. But there we go. Algeria are through to the playoff round of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. We'll find out their opponent next month, inshallah. We need some luck here. Um, because Burkina Faso pushed us right until the very end. And fair play to Burkina Faso, you know. Good team, and they were missing a lot of their good players as well. So, you know, thank you for, for having a couple of nice matches with us. But commiserations to them. It's Algeria who thankfully march on to the playoff round. Ten teams remain, and only five will go to the World Cup. So let me know your thoughts on the game below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.